The ASUS ProArt X870E Creator has one of the more complicated PCIe switches on an AM5 motherboard. Let's take a look at that and all the slots and lanes on the ProArt. Four lanes go to the USB 4 controller connecting two Type-C ports on the back. Each port supports up to 40 gigabits per second when used individually and they share the bandwidth when they're used at the same time. Four lanes at Gen 5 go to the main M.2. The heatsink has a quick release, and this is one of the larger, heftier heatsinks on an AM5 board. 16 lanes go to a PCIe switch that connect 2x16 slots and an M.2 slot. In the first mode, if only the x16 slot is used for a graphics card, all lanes go to that slot. In mode 2, if another device is installed in the x16 slot, the first slot drops to 8 lanes, and 8 lanes go to the second slot. Both these slots have ASUS's release mechanism where you just pull the card out. In the third mode, if you install an SSD in the M.2 slot, the second by 16 slot drops to four lanes and four lanes go to the M.2 slot. These slots all support up to Gen 5 and connect directly to the CPU. Moving on to the chipset, the first chip connects with the four lane uplink at Gen 4. This chip connects to another M.2 slot with four lanes at Gen 4. The first chip connects to the second, connects to another M.2 with four lanes at Gen 4. Both these slots are located under a thin heatsink that's shared with the other M.2 slot. Four lanes at Gen 4 go to a by 16 slot below. The ProArt uses all available Gen 3 lanes for LAN, Wi-Fi, and SATA. One lane goes to 2.5 gig LAN, two lanes to the 10 gig LAN, and one lane goes to Wi-Fi 7. The first chipset chip has an integrated SATA controller with four ports. Each of these ports uses the equivalent of one Gen 3 lane. 